Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're in Sins Orient doing another build video, but this one's a bit different than my normal ones because I'm doing my Halloween series at the moment, um, and today is another build video for it, and I decided to do a graveyard. Um, I don't, I guess it's, it is very Halloween-esque, so I was like, yep, well, that's what we're gonna do today. So I pre-grabbed some coffins just like so because I knew it was going to take me a while to find all, all of them because some are from debug some of them are just normal gameplay from different packs or you know um, tombstone so I found some and then um, basically went from there um, so that's why there was very tombstones in the gate from debug um, out so you didn't have to see me scrolling through debug for half an hour trying to find all the stuff I need um but yeah and basically I kind of was like I want this kind of creepy but at the same time not super creepy just because you know I, it was with some tombs are kind of like basically I wanted each tomb to have like a story behind it so like some of them will have more like fresher flowers and some of them will be in a cage some of them will be like you can tell it's clearly been there for a while but then for some reason it's still getting flowers given to it you know like so there's some like and there's not just normal human sims in this graveyard either there might be some werewolves there might be some vampires even though vampires don't die but was, it's still there, you know, maybe this one, maybe it was killed by a stake or something and that's why it's still getting flowers even though it's clearly been there for, that, for a couple hundred years, you know but that was my idea, was just to give each tombstone a bit of a story um, some of them are a lot nicer than others there's also a dog one, um, which is a bit sad um, but I searched tombstones and a dog one came up, so and I needed more tombstones because I didn't want all of them to look the same because it would be a bit of a boring graveyard if I had the exact same tombstone all over um, so I changed it up um, I also did this little like coffin room I guess um, I don't really know if it would be like the morgue or just like I don't really know what this room is I just was like I wanted to use coffins um, I guess it's just where people may be kept before they get buried here um, but the graveyard's pretty full so I guess they might have to do some resizing because I really filled this graveyard up um, it is primarily just coffins so um, I did add some like benches and some plants just to fill up that space I guess off the ground so it wasn't just a boring thing of me placing tombstone which it is basically but adding some more stuff so it's a little more interesting um so i yeah i didn't stick to any just one pack i just use whatever um for this one so you know i got some werewolf stuff i got some vampire stuff i got some cottage living i've got some snowy escape because for some reason snowy escape came with tombstones i didn't realize it did until this video and i was like that's such a weird thing to, for that pack. I didn't think that pack would come with that but it did um it also has some spooky stuff like there's not just one set pack um so but yeah I ended up using the vampires fencing just because the gate was also vampires I thought the gate was perfect for like a big graveyard or a big graveyard just a graveyard in general um because it was you know creepy big scary black gate I guess um and yeah nothing too exciting about it um I do end up I was originally just gonna have like these three rows and then try to have them separated um but then I end up wanting to add some more just to fill up some of that space so I end up adding a few more um tombs so there actually is like a lot more I think it ends up being like four rows and then like the front there's like another like six or whatever um and they're all different like I said um nothing really too exciting I do add some trees I end up using the trees called like the graveyard trees or whatever from base game because I was like well I have to use those if I'm doing a graveyard um 
I mean, yeah, just finishing up the final bits. Um, I do kind of go back and forth from like, I decided to film this whole video in like the evening setting just to give it a bit more of a darker feel. Um, but I do switch from evening to night. Um, I guess just to um, see how it looked and then just adding some plants and everything just to fill up that space a bit um, yeah just because I wanted to make it a bit more uh, not pretty because it's meant to be a graveyard but you know like nicer <laughs> so it wasn't just some boring graveyard I also add some plants here and there um, just to develop so some of the turns will be a bit more overgrown um, yeah and then adding the benches now but that's about it really so I'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know and I will see you guys again soon with my next Halloween video bye